Simmons. For PSP. Alright, hey, sup, people. I'm uh, making another PSP tutorial to put Windows 7 on your PSP. And no, this is not Windows 7 for the PSP right now. Um, okay, so this is the website that we will be going to to download the software. So click on it. It will be in the district this description. Alright, so once you get there, here's the download now button. Go ahead and click it. Okay, so wait for it to load up. Okay, now we're going to click the save file. And if you're on a different operating system, it should have a save file button at the bottom. Okay, so let it download really quick. And if you're not using Firefox, just uh, save to your desktop or somewhere else that's accessible. This is a really cool uh, plugin for the PSP. Okay, so uh, go ahead and right click it from Firefox and say open containing folder and if you're not on Firefox just open up the folder you saved it in okay so now we have to connect your PSP to the computer with the USB cable so this end obviously goes into the computer here's it right set up okay so this one goes into the PSP on the top of it so that's what it looks like on the side there make sure you hit the right one okay so now turn it on Alright, so once you have it on, go over to your settings menu and press USB connection right here. And just wait for it to load up real quick. Alright, now on your computer, this should happen. Um, a menu should come up. That, uh, if this comes up, which it probably won't for you. Wait. Alright, here it is. Alright, if this menu comes up, which it probably won't for you, just press continue without scanning. So that's what I'm going to do. This usually comes up, so press open folder to view files. Okay, so now that you have your PSP open, open up the folder wherever or wherever you saved uh, the download of your Windows 7. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move it into your PSP. Uh, so what we're going to do is open up Win 7 folder. Inside it we have this Mac OS or whatever. I think this is for the Mac or whatever. Uh, but we're not going to need this. So uh, let's go back here. Um, now we're going to move the Win 7 folder. The one that's inside the first one is Win 7 folder. So you click Win 7, Win 7. And now drag that Win 7 inside Win 7 over. And if this comes up with the encryption, just say yes might not come up for you will be different and it might interrupt you uh, with the encryption so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check it because there's more than one you're gonna always have to say yes because this is what it's telling it to do it might not come up for you so I'm gonna check it and say yes alright so this is gonna take a while so I'm gonna skip through it really quick so I skipped through it you guys just wait for it to get done okay so now it's done uh, it's time to uh, disconnect your PSP. So let's uh, close this out before we disconnect it. I'm going to minimize that. Alright, so um, let's go to the PSP. Oh, yeah, and, and stay tuned because there's important stuff for it to work. Alright, so when you're in USB mode, just press circle to exit. Go over to your network connection. You don't need to network connection go over to tools uh, and delete cache that's where you're gonna go this helps it run so press delete cache press yes if you don't do this it won't run properly so go to set to under tools settings and then cache settings or cache settings uh, press X and up and down to navigate and press do not use press ok uh, let's go back. Uh, cookie settings. Okay, go back. And if you have ex more problems, just uh, go to your tools and press delete cookies. Alright, so now that that's done, go to internet browser. You don't need a wireless connection. And so now go press up and X and type in the bar. We're going to type in a uh, file colon slash win7 slash index.html. Press start. And this will come up. Pretty cool. 
Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to give you a setup menu first. Here we are. Uh, press OK. And like it says, deleting input history in the future will erase all settings. So make sure you don't do that. All right, press Next and then press OK here. It's just asking permission to get the time. Now I'm going to make up a fake new a random username and password so don't be doing anything because I mean it's not even real I'm just gonna put uh, BB something I remember real, really quick just for the video BB start and then press next and here you can just choose your picture I'm just gonna leave it as it is because this is just the video uh, just put in the name you should be like, you know, put in a Win Windows 7 PSP. I'm just gonna put something random here. Next. Okay, now press finish and it will restart. Or actually, yeah. Alright, here it goes. It's a pretty cool plugin. Uh, press yes and when that ever comes up. Okay, now you have to use the same password you put in twice in the setup menu, so BB. And then press the arrow. It'll welcome you in just like Windows. And bring you to your desktop. Just let it load really quick. We got, you know, Internet Explorer, Mozilla, uh, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Word, or a lot of other stuff on the start menu. So, there you have it.